Okay. All right, so you want to defend the view that transgenderism is a delusion, right? Yeah. Okay, so what is the argument for that? Uh, I right. have, do we have you there? Yeah, sorry, I was just, I thought you, I said sure, but I didn't push anything, so I thought you heard me. Yeah, you have to push to talk. All right, I'll probably forget that at some point because I'm not used to that, but I'll try not to. That's uh, okay, so okay, so I, you know, the word delusion is just kind of like that's a semantic choice, but my my position is more that trans women are not women. Well, that's how I would word it. No, no, the position that we came into debate was that transgenderism is a delusion. So, are you conceding the debate? Oh, okay, sure. No, I'll I'll stick with that. So the yeah, it's kind of the, kind of important to stick with like the literal debate proposition, right? So what's the all argument? All right, fair enough. That? Yeah. Okay, so the reason they're delusional is because <laughs> they are not women, but they think they are. Okay, and when you say woman, there are you equivocating gender and sex? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't actually recognize gender really. Like oh, I know, okay, like I know okay. what it means, so I know what people mean when they say it. But I, re I kind of reject it as being a useful concept. Okay, so let's just make sure we agree about the basics. So a delusion is a false belief that's maintained despite clear contradicting evidence, right? Okay. So if you believe you're a fire hydrant, you, we can show you all the clear contradicting evidence. Yet you maintain that you're a fire hydrant. We'll say that's a delusion, right? A delusion is a false belief maintained despite clear contradicting evidence. Sure. Okay, all right. Now, obviously, a belief is a propositional attitude. That's an attitude of uh, a prop towards a proposition that that proposition is true or false, or if we're using something other than a bivalent logic, it could be that it has some other truth value. Um, but since I know that you don't know the first thing about logic, we'll just, you know, we'll talk basic bivalent logic, it's true or false. Um, now, the proposition in question, presumably, is uh, I am a woman, right? And we're taking it to be that that's a position, that's a proposition that a, um, a trans woman, so someone who's biologically male but has a female gender, we'll talk about whether that makes sense, um, would be affirming. They'd be saying, um, I'm a woman, and you take that to be a false, um, a false uh, belief that's maintained despite clear evidence to the contrary. Now, it seems obvious to me that what you're doing there is you're just equating gender and sex, right? Because the belief they have is not that um, they are of the other sex, right? That's not required in order to be transgender. A transgender person could have that additional false belief, but that's not a necessary condition for transgenderism. So, um, if you want to, uh, if you want to say that the belief they have is that they are of the sex that they're not, that would just be a falsehood. So, does your argument rely essentially on equivocating gender and sex? So, are you transgender, or are you just speaking on behalf of all of transgenders when you announce what they believe? Okay, so that was just a complete dodge. Does your argument rely on equating gender and sex? Is there an equivocation taking place, right? I'll go through the whole thing again, okay? So, we're going to no, no, say... No, no, that's really not necessary. The, the key point here, the contention is that you're saying that they don't believe they are the sex that... that uh, you know, goes with the gender that they want to be. No, that's you what you're saying. You mischaracterize so I'm me already. You, I'm you asking you to quantify me. that you statement. Or to, me. To back you, mis that. you mischaracterize me. A transgender person could delusionally believe that they have the other sex, right? But that's not necessary for transgenderism. They can just uh, believe that they have a gender, which is different from their sex. That's what it's taken to mean. It doesn't have to mean that they believe that they're of another sex, right? So I didn't say that they don't believe that because you might have some delusional transgender person who believes that, right? But that's not required in order to be transgender. So don't ascribe that to me. Now, the question I asked you is, are you relying on equating gender and sex? Is there an equivocation taking place? Because I want you to appreciate the structure of what's happening here, right? Delusion is going to be some false belief maintained despite clear evidence to the contrary. Belief is a propositional attitude. You're going to say some proposition is true or false. The proposition in question is I am a woman and we're going to say that's held by someone who is a biological man. Now, in order to reach this uh, false belief, right, in order to claim that the belief is false, it's obvious to me that what you're doing is you're pretending that that proposition I am a uh, woman refers to sex when they're referring to gender, right? So I'm asking you for, I think the third time now, are you just equating gender and sex? Are you equivocating? 
I'm asking what is the basis that you're determining that they're not re relating to sex rather than gender? Because clearly they are relating to sex when do, they say that. Do you think that's an answer? There's to lots the of examples of them doing that. Do you think that's an answer? Well, no, to the you're question? giving you're giving your own definition of what transgenderism is, but that's not what more transgender people would say. Do you think that that's an answer to the question? <laughs> Do you remember uh, the question? I can remind you if you forgot it. Here, you tell me the question. No, I understand. You I understand the question, but I'm clarifying for you what the disagreement is because you're confused as to the what the disagreement the dis is. The disagreement is on the debate proposition, which is that transgenderism is a delusion, right? You're claiming that's true. I'm taking an agnostic position and asking you to substantiate it. Now, I'm asking if you're just relying on an equivocation between sex and gender, right? I'm taking your argument to be something like if a trans if a trans woman believes she's a woman, then a transgender woman is delusional. Transgender woman believes she's a woman, therefore a transgender woman is delusional, right? Now I'm asking in that argument, are you just equivocating when you say woman, gender and sex for like the fifth time? You want to just give an answer to that? Uh, look, I'll grant what you're saying, which is that it could be possible for a transgender person to not be delusional about their biological sex. Like that is possible. Yes. No, we're, ta we're talking about some. Yeah. So someone is transgender and does not have any delusional beliefs. Is that possible in your view? Yeah, I'll give great, you that one. Great. And if that's possible, then transgenderism isn't necessarily a delusion, is it? Not necessarily. I would say that the people. So it's complicated because there's transgender people who basically you're dodging. Like, is it you're like do reject you're dodging. the delusion LP? after the LP? fact. So LP? it's debatable LP? that they're still trans. LP, you're dodging. I'm asking you: Is it necessarily a delusion? If you say no, you've lost the debate. Is it necessarily a delusion? I'll say no. Great, nice debate. Um, if you want to do veganism, I can wreck you on that tomorrow, and you can talk to the others right. if you want to try to hash that out. Hold on. Can you answer my question, though, or like no, my no, contention? No, 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 no. The debate proposition, LP, that you just got fucking annihilated on was transgenderism is a delusion. Now, I walked you through a series of reasoning, which concluded in you saying transgender people are not necessarily delusional, right? So that's it. Yeah. You lose. Now, okay, but if, can if, you answer the question as no, to no, how no, are no, you determining no, no, that no, 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 LP, are you arguing for the debate proposition anymore? Or are you switching to some other proposition? Are you giving me an argument that transgenderism is a delusion, yes or no? I just want to know if you'll acknowledge are that there's a lot you, of delusional trans people who believe are they are the opposite you, sex. Are you giving me an argument that establishes that transgenderism is a delusion, yes or no? Right, you just conceded the debate, now you're trying to claw back to some semblance of making sense, and I'm pointing out that you're not even establishing the debate proposition. You're trying to switch the to another topic. Made. Hey, shut the fuck up whoever is talking right now. Now, LP, are you actually making an argument for the debate proposition, or are you, again, sticking to the position that you have conceded the debate proposition? Right, I'm just trying to ask you. Are you? Do you can see that there's a you, lot of delusional transgender you, people who think they're the opposite you, sex. Are you actually making an argument for the debate proposition, or are you, despite the fact that you conceded the debate proposition, just trying to argue for something else? You can claw back to some semblance of making sense. You want to answer that? Are you arguing for the debate proposition right now? Yes or no? No. No. Great. Great. Do you have an argument for the debate proposition? No. Did you concede the debate proposition? Yes. Fantastic. Have fun with the others, LP. You lose again, and I will body you on veganism tomorrow if you want.